So this one's actually a pretty challenging achievement to get, so here's my guide on how to get it using a free to play team. So the achievement is obtained by weakness breaking the Star Crusher Swarm King after it uses its Carapace of Nurture Disaster. This is a shield that he cast in phase 2. What the achievement doesn't tell you though is that it needs to be done on the very first Carapace that the boss casts upon entering phase 2. If you let him unleash the attack and then weakness break his second or third cast of Carapace you will not get the achievement. So. How do we front load enough break damage right at the start of phase 2, especially as a free to play player? So firstly, for difficulty, I would pick one that you can survive easily enough, especially if you've got under geared characters, but you also want a difficulty where the boss has enough health to survive the break damage. If he dies from you breaking him, you will not get the achievement. I opted to go with a difficulty 2 run as my team was quite low level, but I also took off their weapons just to make sure that they didn't do too much damage. The team in question is going to be made up of March 7 and Su Shang as the core members, with the third slot going to a sustain or physical trailblazer if you can survive without the sustain. Then in your last slot you're going to need to borrow either a Ron Mei or a Dan Heng Illuminator Lune, as these two characters are vital as the amount of break that they apply is astronomical and you will not do enough break damage to the boss without them. So the reason why we go with March 7 is that she's able to freeze the boss with her ultimate, preventing him from unleashing his ultimate attack and giving you one additional round of attacks to deal more break damage. Su Shang is coming along because she deals a huge amount of physical break damage with the ability to attack, ultimate to advance forward and then attack again. And then physical trailblazer is also very decent, dealing a little bit over 20% of the break bar just from her attack and ultimate. Alright, so you would have seen on screen just now the entire playthrough using a borrowed Ran Mei. And so now I'll give a play by play of what I did using a Dan Heng team to achieve the same thing. Because Dan Heng deals so much damage, I could get away with not running a sustain since we get into phase 2 so quickly. So instead I'm running physical trailblazer for even more break damage. I make sure that everyone has full ultimates before the fight and then I use 3 skills in Dan Heng to quickly take the boss down into phase 2. And then I just basic attack with everyone else to build skill points. Now you can see here upon entering phase 2, the boss regenerates his break bar to full and advances forward to cast the carapace of nurture disaster. From here I used Trailblazer to basic, ultimate and then basic again as I wanted to make sure that we keep enough skill points for Dan Heng to do his full attack. With March I'm just going to be using basic attacks as I want to save the ultimate for the end of my turns in case I need to freeze to cancel the Swarm King's turn. With Su Shang I use a basic into ultimate which advances her forward and allows me to use a skill afterwards. And then on Den Heng's turn I pop all three skills and unleash an attack that brings the boss all the way down to roughly about 10% break gauge. I then noticed that his health is pretty low so rather than using Dan Heng's ultimate which would have killed him outright, I popped Marcha's ultimate to finish off the break and thus netting me the achievement. 